Hello, and welcome to Step Up AT's Improving Literacy Through Technology Peer Coaching Videos. In this video, we will talk about what assistive technology is, who can benefit from its use, the different types of AT, and how you can get access to these tools. Assistive technology, or AT, is any item, piece of equipment, software, or product system that is used to increase, maintain, or improve the functional capabilities of a person with a disability regardless of age or need. Yes, AT helps children and adults who may have difficulty speaking, reading, writing, learning, or playing amongst many other activities of daily life. Different disabilities require different AT tools or devices. There is a wide range of AT options and sometimes it can be overwhelming just thinking of which tool to use. But assistive technology doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as a handmade tool, like a picture schedule, or as specialized as a dynamic display with thousands of words to communicate. Okay. To help you understand the range of assistive technology available we have, low-tech AT tools can include a pencil grip, a slanted surface, raised line paper, or tactile letters. <laughs> Mid-tech AT tools can include adapted keyboard and mouse switches or speech generating devices or SGDs, such as a Big Mac, an iTalk, and the GoTalk series. And high-tech AT tools can include touchscreen devices, such as learning apps, and dynamic augmentative alternative communication devices, such as the GoTalk Now app. Can you think of any AT tools you have seen before? Glasses help people see, wheelchairs help people move, and smartphones can serve as reminders of important medications to take. Chances are, whatever you are thinking of could probably be considered or be adapted to help someone with a particular task. Hello? In young children, AT helps increase independence and participation in everyday activities. The goal of AT is to help a child do something he or she would not be able to do without it and participate more independently in a given task or activity. Yes. For example, in the classroom, you may have a child who has a hard time verbally expressing needs. This may limit participation in group activities such as circle time. By incorporating picture symbols or speech generating devices with pre-recorded messages, the child can point to the picture or press the device to communicate. Similarly, adapting existing materials can also be considered AT. For example, adapting books to help build a child's comprehension makes story time more fun and allows the child to participate more readily in their reading experience. What a lot to see! Instead of the teacher just reading pages of the book to a child, adapting a book allows the child to manipulate words and characters by using pre-made props, like felt puppets or toys. When the child manipulates the props or visuals, his or her comprehension increases since they are focused on the words on the page and the story being read. And they read them. Teachers can also create their own AT. Examples include adapting books by copying the images on the page laminating the images and using Velcro to adhere the visuals onto the page. These are all AT tools. But how do you consider which AT tool or adaptation to use for a child? There is an existing framework, SET, created by Dr. Joy Zabala that helps us organize the information we gather about a child's AT needs. It centers on the child to help us determine the tool or adaptation that will best meet their needs, helping us match the needs and abilities of the child with the right tools. Yep. When considering AT, think of the child. What are the child's strengths, needs, and interests? The child's environment. Where can we help the child participate more? Which part of the day or routine? The task. What does the child need to do that is currently difficult to achieve? And finally, exploring the tools. What AT tools and strategies are needed to help the child participate to the best of his or her abilities in the given task? You stayed in there for a long time. The best part of it? All that AT highlighted in this video can be borrowed for a short period of time. 
Coaches, teachers, administrators, and parents have the opportunity to borrow a wide range of AT tools and devices from our Step Up AT Lending Library. You can visit stepupat.org to learn more about the AT device lending process. Don't forget to check out stepupat.org to learn more about ways to use AT in the classroom. Thanks for watching.